Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a three week postpartum update. I'm exactly three weeks postpartum today. I have little three week old Maddox right there, rocking and rolling. I have his car seat over here because I, he was asleep in it, so I let him sleep in it. And I have diapers and all kinds of crap all over the bed because it's a disaster. Um, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, today I just wanted to give you guys a three week postpartum update, let you know how I'm feeling, let you know how breastfeeding's going, let you know how the vagina is. So this probably will be TMI. I'm not sorry. If you don't want to hear about my vagina, you should just pass on by. Um, yeah, breastfeeding, vagina, hemorrhoids, all of those fun things that come after you push a person out of you. Feeling, honestly, I'm feeling great considering what I've been through, I feel fantastic. Again, my labor was super easy. Pushing him out was super easy. Things were super great. Um, so honestly, I'm feeling superb. I'm going to be completely honest. And so some things are better than others, but for the most part, I'm feeling great. One thing I do want to say is that I have been constantly comparing my postpartum ness <laughs> with Jackson's. And that's not really fair because Jackson at this point had only been home for less than a week and he tomorrow will have been home for three weeks like he came home the day after he was born and so i'm not nearly as emotionally traumatized or stressed or just emotional in general and i can breastfeed so there's a lot of things that are different and it's really hard to know what's normal it's really hard to know what it would have been different because it was different because he was in the NICU you know like it's hard to tell as far as breastfeeding goes, honestly, things are pretty good. Um, it started out rough. Obviously, a lot of people told me that the first week of breastfeeding was the hardest. And there, that was one of the truest statements. I remember him being one week and feeling like my, my boobs don't hurt as much. My nipples don't hurt as much. And I remember thinking, oh, everyone always told me that the first week was the hardest. I guess they were right. I feel so much better. So that's true. Um... The first week was brutal, obviously I had a lot of engorgement, I my nipples had little blood blisters on them, he had this habit of latching on really well and then pulling back so he was just on the nipple and I just sit there bawling because I was too afraid to take him off because he was having a hard time latching on so I was afraid that if I took him off he wouldn't latch on and then he wouldn't eat and then he wouldn't be his birth weight and the whole world would end. I would just kind of leave him on and just suck it up and cry. Also, what the worst part about the first week was getting those contractions. I got contractions for almost the entire first week as I was feeding him. It souped. It's, it was so rough. Every time I had to feed him, I just wanted to cry because I did not want to deal with those contractions. It was awful. I also got sick my first week postpartum. And so I had this really bad cough, but I was too scared to cough because, you know, my vagina had been torn open. So you'd see me going like, eh, 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 because I was too scared to cough. Because like I was genuinely convinced that if I coughed, then my vagina would just split open. So that was fun. But now breastfeeding's going really well. I have this thing that I had never heard of um, and people called it the 60 second sizzle or something. There's names for everything with postpartum and babies and stuff. So I don't know if I'd actually call it that, but um, it didn't happen for the first, the, like I said, the first week was hard, then I had a few days when it was perfect, and then this started happening. And basically, it doesn't matter how well he latches on, he can latch on, have the whole freaking thing in his mouth, and I still want to die for about 60 seconds. Like, I was sitting there bawling because my nipple hurts so badly. And it eventually goes away. After about 30 seconds, it's the longest 30 seconds of my life, but after about the first 30 seconds, I feel fine. And things are great. And, he'll, and if he goes off and goes back on then it doesn't hurt but I have to get past that first 30 seconds and I think it has something to do with the letdown just because like I realized that if um I like kind of hand what's it called hand express into like a burp cloth or something for a little while or if I pump for about two minutes um, and then put them on, then it doesn't hurt. So I really think it has something to do with the letdown. Like getting the milk makes my nipples feel like there's a million sores in them. And I, I don't know why. I had never heard of that, but I figured I'd let you know in case anybody else had heard of that or they were going through the same thing. It's weird. I'm still dealing with it, but I'll just quickly kind of squeeze a little bit out and then it'll hurt less if I don't have time to pump. Um, but he's never had a bottle. I know that they say you want to go at least four weeks and that's my goal. After that, 
I don't think I'm gonna give him a bottle very often if I want to go to like the movies with a friend or something and I want to leave him with Kelly um then I'll do that um what else he cluster feeds from about five to about nine so he's constantly hungry doesn't matter how well he eats he'll guzzle it down and then 20 minutes later 30 minutes later he wants to eat again and I'm like I don't know how you're handling this but okay but then he sleeps three four hour stretches at night so I'm feeling okay about that um, as far as my vagina goes honestly it feels amazing I don't think I'd necessarily have sex I know people do have sex like four weeks after giving birth and I think I'm just terrified because the doctor told me not to so I'm like okay um, but honestly like I specifically remember with Jackson sitting there and he had already been home so it was easily three weeks postpartum I was sitting on the couch and I remember thinking my vagina will never feel the same again I'm never gonna have sex again I'm never gonna be okay I have this big bulge of stitches between one hole to the other and it was just awful this one I never had that I the first two days I remember being in the hospital and being home and I was still using the squirt bottle for a few days and then after that I felt Great. And I don't know if it has to do with the fact that I tore exactly where I tore with Jackson so they were probably just stitching up over scar tissue and I don't know if that has to do with it. But I've never felt like a big bulge down there. I've never felt super uncomfortable like I was walking pretty well. Even from the time she rolled me upstairs after I gave birth. I was like in two hours postpartum and she was putting like Maddox somewhere and so I just climbed out of the wheelchair and got into bed and she's like don't do that I'll help you into bed and I was like oh like and it just it was difficult to get into bed but it wasn't that bad <laughs> it was mostly just because I had this giant pad but like as far as like my vagina I was totally fine as far as like my belly goes it's almost completely back to where it was I'm really blessed that way my belly's kind of like an elastic it just went right back almost um I definitely have stretch marks that weren't there before and I don't want to complain about them because they're really, really not that bad. I don't want to whine or complain because I've seen people with so much worse. It's just, it's sad when your body doesn't look the way it used to. And my stomach was always the kind of thing that like my arms and my thighs would be huge, but my stomach was completely flat. And so I'm really bummed that I don't have that anymore. I mean, I have a flat stomach relatively, but I'm not going to be comfortable in like a bikini or something for a very long time, if ever, just because I don't like the way that they look. But I don't want people jumping on me and being like, you're so blessed, your stomach's back to normal, your stretch marks aren't that bad, because I do know that. I know that I'm blessed, but it's still frustrating. It's still frustrating when your body doesn't look the way that it used to, and I'm like okay with it. Like I would never like give up my child for my body back, like not even a little bit, but it's still frustrating. And that's all. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Thank you guys for watching. I know that was TMI. I warned you. I'm not sorry. I wanted to give you guys a full update of what it did feel like. Postpartum's rough. It's rough. Thank you guys for watching. We'll say bye to Maddox. You're sleeping so soundly.